Hi, this is Dennis with Cybercraft. We'll be doing another Security Plus performance-based question here. And this is a question that my team has crafted on CybercraftTrain.com. So the idea here is to make it as similar as possible to the real test PBQs that you're going to see on the exam. So we're able to do that by creating our own PBQs based on our observations, my observations, my instructor's observations, my students' observations about what PBQs they've seen on the real test. So I'm trying to make these as realistic as possible so you're not surprised when you get to the test and you understand you know, what type of questions and how they're presented in the real test environment. So that's the goal here. Let's go ahead and jump into this one and see what's going on. Okay, so we've got our instructions here. You're performing penetration tests using a Cali workstation with an IP of 192.168.1.12. Your team lead tasks you with scanning a Windows device on the network with an IP address of 192.168.1.6. One Nmap command will allow you to scan the Windows 10 machine and determine the operating system open ports, the protocols in use, and the versions of each protocol. Okay. Then we have a series of commands here. Okay, well, first off, we want to make sure this is in the right syntax. Uh, with Nmap commands, you start with Nmap and then space and then your target or your flags. So anything that doesn't start with nmap, we can immediately rule out. So this right here, this doesn't start with nmap, that starts with a, an IP. This one's just completely wrong. Uh, this one here has the IP of our device and it's the wrong syntax. Now this one does ask for a port scan and operating system scan but the syntax is incorrect. So this and the IP address is incorrect too. So this would not be correct. All right, so next we wanna need, we need to find the operating system, the ports, and the protocols in use in the version. Okay, so if we're looking at the operating system, we need the dash O flag. So this one has dash O. We're not using this one. This one has dash O. No dash O there, but this says dash A. That could possibly be a two. And then we need the protocols in use in the versions. So the versions, that's going to be dash SV for versions. So this is dash, well, this one's the wrong syntax. This is a SYN scan. SYN scan is a TCP SYN scan. So this wouldn't help us here because it doesn't, not going to give us the port information. This one is the version dash SV and then we have dash P and we have a line. Okay so this is showing us dash P dash is telling it to scan all ports. So that's what all ports are. And then this one we got to take a look at this one dash A and top ports 2000. Now, top ports 2000 will scan ports. They'll scan the 2000 common ports. Um, and then dash A is an aggressive scan, which if I'm recalling correctly, rec aggressive scan would provide the operating system and the protocol version. So I think that's correct too. And it does say choose all the, that apply. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that we would choose more than one. Usually it does, but don't think you have to choose more than one. And you'll have to see on, of course, in the uh, the real test, you're going to see multiple uh, option where you can select multiple uh, choices here. So I'm thinking that we're going to go with this one here and this one. I don't think the other ones would work here. It's wrong syntax. For these two and then this one doesn't give us any information about the protocol. Okay, let's see here. You perform the scan and present with these results. Which services are running on this machine? Okay, so what do we see here? We see he's targeted this machine. And we have, okay, ports. We have 53, 80, 88, 135, 139. Okay, they're, they're blocking out the closed port, the service number. So basically 
these are the open ports. I guess this is asking us to match the port number in the service. Yeah. Okay, and then what do we select? We select multiple. Okay, so we just got to select the ones that are for each service. We got to recognize which port protocol numbers. Yeah, that's very, that's a very common ask on the exam. Let's see. So 53, that's DNS here. 80, that's going to be HTTP. 88 is Kerberos. I wonder if all of these are on here. Okay, we got HTTP. We have DNS. We have Kerberos. SSH is 22. We don't have 22. FTP is 20 and 21, and we don't have that. It's always in order. Uh, let's see. LDAP secure, POP3, and LDAP. This is 636 for LDAP secure, so let's take a look at that. 636, 636, and then LDAP. LDAP, that should be uh, 389, I believe. Yep, 389. So we do have LDAP and we do have LDAP secure. Do we have POP3 though? 110. No, we don't have POP3. I think these are right. Okay, good to go. I think that's good. What services are running on this screen? You perform the support scan? Yep, it's pretty straightforward there. All right. Okay, which match the Nmap flag with its correcting or corresponding function? What do we drag? Okay, drag and drop question. Very common type of question. So let's take a look at our flags here. Okay, dash SS. We looked at that one earlier. That's going to be an SYN scan. So we know that. Let's see. We have SYN scan. Okay, SYN scan. And dash SU, that's UDP. That's UDP. So we have a UDP and a SYN scan here. Okay, excellent. Okay, dash P, that's a port scan, and it's asking for port 80. So a port scan for port 80. Port scan, HTTP, yep, 80 is HTTP. This is the flag to enable IPv6 scanning. So IPv6 scanning, that's good. Okay, and these are timings. Now the timings within Nmap go from T0, the, the slowest timing, a T0 timing is gonna take, could take like 48 hours. It, it, depending on the network, it's very slow. And the idea is to do the scan so you're not alerting any IDS intrusion detection systems. Uh, you're not alerting any network monitoring tools. So T0, would definitely be the slowest scan. And then T5 is an insane speed scan. Insane speed, that's how it's described. It's the fastest scan you can do. So it goes from T0 to T5. So this one should be like slow and this one should be faster. And remember, I'm always trying to look at and thinking about how the question would be worded in the drag and drop before looking at the answers. So I wanna internalize this before reading the answers here because I could be misled by the answers rather than just thinking about the concepts myself beforehand. So this is gonna be a paranoid speed scan and insane speed scan. Yep, that's absolutely adequate there. So insane speed scans. Okay. All right, I think I'm pretty confident about this one. I think that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and try and finish that up, see how we did. Okay, looks like we got it, right? Let's view the questions here. Okay, these two were correct. Syntax, nmap, flag, and then IP address, SV, flag, the text, the version, very good. Here we have, these are correct. Open, LDAP, LDAP Secure, HTTP, and Kerberos. Not open, 22, SC, FTP, POP3 Secure. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. Map the MAP flag is corresponding function, and we got all of these perfect. All right, great. So, you know, we did very well here. Uh, I think this is a, a nice PBQ question, very similar to what you'll see on the test that my team's crafted here for me. So that's very good.
And if you enjoy this question, check out my other videos. I always try and bring you the most realistic you know, performance-based questions so you, you don't have any surprises on the real test and give you insights into my, my thought process on how to approach the question, which is the most important thing. If you learn how to think about the questions and how to address them, you're going to be ready for the real thing. And if you like this PBQ, we have these and the official CompTIA PBQs all on our Security Plus course. Just check the link in the description. But thanks so much. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Thank you.